Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Cody Vondell, and today we're gonna be taking a look at my brand new factory pomo kit, available now for just a few dollars over on my Etsy. So obviously this style was very popular in the late 80s and into the mid 90s. I specifically remember seeing this kind of aesthetic all the time in my childhood. The community over at Kari has done a great job categorizing it and finding examples of it from the past. Before we get started, I just gotta say thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It means so much that the work that I do helps you out with your design process. And if you're following along with me on screen or using some of the templates that I sell, make sure to hop on our Discord server. We have an amazing community over there of artists, designers, producers, all kinds of creatives sharing their resources, inspiration, works in progress. Let's take a moment really quick to check out what the community has been up to. As per usual, you all are crushing it. I am so thankful that I can hop on this server every day and check out what everybody's been up to. And if you aren't there already, I hope to see you there soon. If you'd like to support my channel, make sure to hop on my Etsy where you can find all the templates that I create and use on screen and other cool merchandise like stickers, shirts, hats, and more. You can access my digital design library, project files for all my tutorials, early access to new design drops, and more over on my Patreon. Shout out to all my patrons for making my videos possible. Thank you all so much. And if you like my intro, outro, and background music, I create it all. Just search Cody Vondell on Spotify or your preferred streaming service. And I'm also available on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. And of course, at Cody Vondell on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and all that. With all that being said, let's hop on screen and start playing with this factory pomo kit. All right, so we have the kit open right now. Let's go ahead and start grabbing some of these pieces. Let's get our uh, creative gears turning by actually creating some gears. Um, and I think what we'll do is just kind of create a bunch of little gears so uh, we have sort of a variety of kind of things going on over here and we'll just make all of them a slightly different, uh, maybe different sizes and using different pieces of, uh, different combinations of these pieces here. So that's kind of the thing that we're gonna be working on right now and just, um, having a fun time with it. Um, this, this is a really fun kind of kind of style. It's like, it was really popular back in the 90s because I remember seeing it on everything from stuff that was educational to music videos to, um, I mean, just uh, like um, like fashion and everything. I mean, this was just a really popular style in like late 80s and early 90s, probably uh, some of my earliest memory. This, this kind of style was really popular for the first, probably like six or seven years of my life, I'd say. So I definitely associate this kind of style with like, earliest years of my life and uh, I, I really like this kind of style. It makes me nostalgic and uh, I have a fun time playing with it. So I know it's not quite as popular as like the Y2K stuff and even some of the other like maybe the acid graphics and stuff like that that was going on at the same time as this stuff. But I just think this stuff is really interesting and I have a really fun time playing with it. And uh, I figured, you know, let's go ahead and just make a kit so anybody else out there who wants to play around with this style can easily recreate it in, you know, minutes using this kit. So that's where we're at. We have a nice little variety kind of going on now. Um, what else can we use? Some of these pieces ought to go together just fine. It might look a little bit similar to what we've already done down there, but that's cool. They're all slightly different. They're all slightly the same. That's kind of how this this style will go when you're at least when you're making up all these little like uh, pieces like this. So it almost has like an industrial kind of feel. Like I, I associate it with. Well, it's so weird. I, it's it looks cool. I'm like I feel like there's music videos uh, of all types of genres. Like there was hip hop music videos, industrial music videos, and all kinds of stuff that that utilize this style. It felt like it it was it it was versatile somehow. It, it doesn't seem like it would be, but it definitely was. Yeah, let's go ahead and fill in some colors really quick. I think we're gonna go with a Nickelodeon inspired color scheme. This feels very Nickelodeon, at least 90s Nickelodeon with purple and uh, orange. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe purple, orange, and blue, but this this kind of color is sort of in between purple and blue, so it kind of works for me. 
Um, I think it looks great with orange and white and black. So I think that's our color scheme right there. And uh, as I was saying, yeah, uh, I have some design books with some really cool stuff in this style. Um, I was, I was kind of showing it off on my live stream last week and uh, I'm gonna be uploading all that kind of stuff to my design library. So that is a free thing that you can check out over on Google Drive, just check out on my link tree, it's, it's linked right there. So um, you can find that on my Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So here's some pre-made shapes and we're gonna go ahead and just recolor them, boom. So that is much more readable. You can understand what's going on here and we'll just kind of rotate these so that they kind of feel like they're meshing with what we've got going on already. Something like that, that's not really comfortable yet. So maybe we can turn it around, something like that. Uh, this is, it's getting there, it's getting there. It's a little messy, a little messy. We've got a lot going on over here, but we're, this is gonna be kind of like an extract, just abstract bunch of like pieces that are just kind of uh, showing up in between the uh, like titles that we'll be creating here in just a minute. So let's just get these recolored. And after that's done, we can easily start playing with text and all that kind of stuff. And that's really gonna bring this whole kind of, we're almost making like a quick like identity, like a based off of these, these kind of shapes. And uh, we'll kind of go for like a software kind of vibe. So we're just kind of adjusting this so that everything works easily. With this design, I think now things are starting to look pretty cool. Let's get some colors changed out over here. And I'd say we're pretty much finished up with this little part. We can then move on to type-based designs. We'll bring that down a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab some of these, these shapes over here. And let's go ahead and since we've easily changed those from black to white. Let's uh, make this say something like tech work, something that, that feels, you know, like I said, this isn't, we're not really thinking about the name of the company or anything like that. We're really just having a fun time uh, creating like the identity. So we'll just have some words that feel like they're tech related, um, like 90s tech. So not, not anything too, too advanced. So tech work, that's our first one. That looks easy. That's just pretty much one of the, uh, the standard things that kind of comes with the kit. Um, for this next one though, we'll actually uh, kind of make some stuff from scratch. So playing with the word 3D, let's make ourselves a little square over here. Start kind of playing around with, with that. Maybe we can, there's some other cool fonts too, but I think we're just gonna, for the sake of consistency, just stick with the Technic plain font that we're using right now. So maybe we can use the word robotics. Um, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and try something so this is how I'm getting a, a really specific kind of uh, factory Pomo look, which is the half and half kind of black and white divided text look. So right now you can see we are going to, so we're just gonna grab that. We're going to create outlines out of that text and then we're gonna copy this. We have two of them. We'll use our Pathfinder and pretty much uh, combine the top two on the left, the bottom two on the right. And then using these pieces, we can just kind of easily snap them together and boom, we've got this 90s style. This uh, was starting to remind me of like the uh, Reboot logo, if you guys remember that. Reboot was a really great example of this uh, showing up in like kids stuff. Um, uh, that was like, I was like the target demographic for that show. Um, I was that age when that was popular and I freaking love Reboot and all that kind of, that early, uh, early CG style kind of stuff for kids was a lot of fun. Uh, Beast Wars, Beast Machines, all that kind of stuff. I was the target demographic for that, cyber stuff in the 90s. So a lot of fun stuff, um, kind of defined everything that I do these days, all, all that kind of stuff. So um, definitely look back at that stuff just very fondly, I love it. So uh, having a fun time kind of creating a robotics logo now, I think this is starting to look like a little microchip in some way with some teeth on it or something that kind of has like a, a living feel. So I like the way this is all turning out. It's, it's feeling good, let's get this 3D thing looking cool. Um, You'll say 3D graphics or something, you know, just something basic, something cool. We'll make this a lot smaller. Maybe we'll grab some arrows in this piece and we can kind of fill them in over here. Make them just a little bit smaller. Something like that's looking cool. I like it. We can maybe move this over here and switch it around so these top pieces meet. And we'll grab these, fill them in about right here looking kind of cool feels a little bit uneven maybe we'll make these 
having a hard time grabbing that. All right, yeah, there we go. Cool. I think that's looking nice. 3D graphics, robotics, tech work. Uh, let's make up a few other things. Maybe we can grab some other stuff from over here. Let's grab this. This is a fun little kind of preset kind of thing that we can use. Let's make it just say audio visual or something. Um, and we'll actually, we'll switch out the, the icon and give it something a little bit more unique. So something kind of based off of these, but not exactly. We'll just kind of have a fun time kind of meshing some of these different shapes together and seeing what we come up with. Maybe we can make that part purple and we'll make these white, make that orange. We'll just do away with the globe altogether. We'll make this a lot smaller. We'll put it right here in between all the text. Now that text has a really big, tall kind of look compared to all these things, and I kind of like that. It feels very reminiscent of that style. So, oops, let's go ahead and make this say audio visual. I think that's the vibe we're gonna go for. Audio visual, let me just copy and paste it right on in. So we have cloned the 3D graphics thing. We're just gonna go with illustration, AI, illustrator, I don't know. Um, this feels a little bit too branded now. Uh, let's go for something like, so as you can see, we've kind of started getting these little pieces put together on some uh, colored backgrounds so we can uh, get a feel. And yeah, we just need this piece. Um, maybe we can grab a few of these little circles here bring these, uh, group them, and we'll bring them down here. And maybe we'll just say something that's not illustration. Effects, audio, audio effects. And now uh, we'll bring this up here a little bit. Boom, audio effects, 3D graphics. Cool, this feels like some type of, you know, packaging for some type of thing that, that you'd buy 25 or 30 years ago. So we have officially done what we wanted to do with this. We kind of created a fun little brand identity. We've got our color scheme, we've got our, our font and our shapes established. Um, I think the last thing we'll do is since we have all these pieces kind of created, we can kind of drop them over into Photoshop and uh, kind of create like our final uh, layout and that'll be kind of our finished product. And you know, this style is very reminiscent of like earlier styles from like even like a hundred years ago. It reminds me a lot of like Art Deco, um, the, the kind of style that you may have seen in like a movie like Metropolis from the 1920s that has that kind of futurist or like early, early futurist kind of looks. This is feeling about nearly complete. And I'm pretty happy with our results. As you can see in less than 30 minutes, we've put together like a really, really cool um, brand identity using a bunch of these pre-made assets, kind of combining shapes and stuff like that, using some of these fonts that came recommended. The font list kind of came from Kari, so shout out to Kari once again for, uh, you know, for categorizing the style and kind of coming up with cool examples. Um, it would have been really hard to find this uh, style without, you know, easy examples right there for me. So, um, really cool. Coming up with labels for uh, styles that didn't necessarily have a, a name back in the day. It was just a, a trend for a few years and that's kind of what we thought about it. Cool, so I think we, uh, we're wrapped up. That's looking really good. And uh, we've got like a finished early 90s brand. So just like that, with this brand new kit available for just a few dollars over on my Etsy, you'll be creating this retro aesthetic in minutes. Before you go, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of fun content planned you don't wanna miss, including brand new music, brand new graphic design templates, and more. That wraps us up for today. Thank you again to my patrons for making my videos possible. I appreciate you all so much. I'm looking forward to talking to all of you over on my Discord server, and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you all.